It's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's the new Tic-Tac-Toe. And now, here's our host, Sweet Hortondale. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, what an audience. Good grief. Boy, wow, terrific people. All of them. Welcome. Delighted to have an audience like this. Do anything they applaud. Yeah. Watch this. Watch this. See there? Nothing to it. Let's meet our players for this game of Tic Tac Go. Here they are. Jay, if you will, please. Thank you. We've got current champion who's winning today in cash and prizes total $12,050. She's a business education teacher. Meet Roberta Colmer. And her opponent is a plant manager whose hobby is talking on the TV radio. Meet Jim Zurich. Roberta, I'll tell you the truth, I'm kind of glad your husband is off on a business trip, because if we keep meeting like this, honey, things, people are going to start talking. <laughs> I mean, really, you've become a regular fixture around here. Roberta, you teach, in addition to liking to dance and taking care of a three-year-old, you teach. Where do you teach, and what do you teach? I teach at the West Valley Occupational Center, and it's an adult vocational school, and I teach business subjects. Is there somebody in the audience from that school? I heard somebody say, he was probably just applauding Roberta's cute face, I guess. <laughs> Roberta sounds like a very, very interesting job. I enjoy it a lot. I, I really like working with adults. You like what you're doing here on Tic Tac Go? I love it. Twelve thousand fifty dollars in cash and merchandise. Good luck today. Thank you. Jim, you live on uh, what you term, I think, a mini ranch. What is a mini ranch? It's about an acre. <laughs> <laughs> now, friends, that's a mini ranch. Where, where is that, Jim? It's in Norco, uh, out near Riverside. What do you raise on your mini ranch? Well, my wife's got a filly, and we've got chickens and ducks, and we're looking for a dog. You ready to get started with this? Yeah, oh, I... wait a minute. Hold it. Roberta has a dog that her husband wants to get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you uninitiated who didn't hear on the last show, uh, Roberta's dog one night uh, recently ate up the drapes, and the husband's not too happy with all of that. So, Jim, you talk about that later with Roberta, okay? <laughs> Here are the categories we're going to be dealing with in this game. The subjects are Jackson Johns, Women Writers, Colors, Men of the Sea, Africa, Television Stars, the Odd One, Solar System, and Famous First. When the game was interrupted on the last show, this is what the board looked like. As far as X's and O's are concerned, two X's on the top for Roberta, one O in the center for Jim. Let's move them around and get back to the business at hand. And that's winning a game of tic-tac-toe. Somebody, $700 in the pot. Roberta. Um, I'm gonna... I don't think I know a lot about the solar system. So, so I'm gonna go lower left TV stars. All right, little calculated risk there. Television stars. Roberta, take a look at this picture, please. This famous newsman usually signs off with the words, and that's the way it is. Name him. Walter Cronkite? Yes, didn't I do a terrible Walter Cronkite? <laughs> what an extra. Let's move the categories around. Add $200 to the pot. That takes it to 900 Jim? I think I'll go to the top middle colors. Colors, all right. Obviously, you're going for a block. Jim, this colorful American river begins in Texas, flows along the southern boundary of Oklahoma, and empties in the Mississippi River. For a block, name it. The Red River? Yes, that's exactly right. The Red River. Good for a block. Put it over there, and let's move the categories again. In the pot now, $1,100, Roberta. I'll try Africa to win. All right, to win. Africa, the category. And if you answer this question, you'll pick up $1,300 in cash. Add that to your prior winnings, and your new total would then be $13,350. Africa for tic-tac-toe. Listen carefully. The original Dutch settlers of this African nation were known as Boers and fought the British in the Boer Wars of the early 1900s. Today, descendants of these Dutch settlers call themselves Afrikaners. Afrikaners. Afrikaners, I beg your pardon. Name their country for tic-tac-toe. Dutch West Indies? No, South Africa. Oh. South Africa. And Jim, you're still very much alive in this game. Let's move the categories around. Still $1,100 in the pot. And there are the categories. Jim, select, please. I'll try Famous First for the win. If you answer this question on Famous First, Jim, you'll become our new champion with $1,300. Here's your question. In 1709, a German physicist invented the world's first accurate thermometer. He also gave his name to the scale by which it could be read. 
for $1,300 and our championship, name him. Fahrenheit. Yes, for Tic Tac Joe. Jim, that's kind of like when you're in the bottom of the ninth inning and your team's behind three to two and two out and nobody on. You hit a home run to tie it and then you win it in the tenth. Boy, that is a terrific way to play this game. You feel a little bit more relieved now? Yes, sir. That is absolutely unbelievable. Everything's <laughs> going to be happy on the mini farm tonight, right, Jim? <laughs> Big vertical tic-tac-toe worth $1,300. Of course, you become our new champion. Congratulations. We'll try to beat the dragon you. with you shortly. Roberta. You won $12,050, and that is a nice day's oh, work, isn't fantastic. it? fantastic. And I know your husband's going to be very, very proud of you. Yes. Thank you for being with us. You have just Thank been you. lovely, and you've given us a lot of good games at Tic Tac Joe. Let's say goodbye to Roberta. Roberta Coma. We'll be right back to Jim to see if he can beat the big news dragon right after these words. Well, Jim, you've got your first win now. You defeated your first opponent. If you defeat four more for a total of five, Jay Stewart, tell him about what he can win. It's a brand new car! <laughs> Skyhawk with the compact, even-firing V6 engine for smooth economical power, overall sporty siding and comfort, the Skyhawk! All right, Jim, if you'll join me at the big board, you'll see about Tip the Dragon away. Come on over here. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Well, you did it. Didn't think I was game. going to. Yeah, she had you, boy, right where she wanted you, and she let you get away. Just did it. Huh? And you were delighted. You betcha. <laughs> hey, behind the numbers on the board are various amounts of money and a dragon. All you have to do is reach how much to win. That was about $1,000. That's about it. And if you do that, here's what you can win. Listen. Jim, it's Tic Tac Toe's entertainment package. First, entertain at home with Samsonite's Barmaid's Royale Bar Stools. The big bucket is designed to engulf you in pure luxury. The Royale is an asset to any home because the best seats in the house come from Samsonite. And next, you'll be on time for entertainment with these watches. Helgo Sports Watches. Magnificent sports model with one piece case and low prices for her. And for you, a matching day and date model of incredible accuracy plus another classic sports Watch from Hellbrook. And you'll be ready for the entertainment by with Botany 500 Fashion for the gentlemen. Distinguished suits and sport coats to fit every lifestyle, from traditional American classics to form flattering European inspired designs. Meticulously tailored by Botany 500. And next, put your entertainment fun on film with this camera. The Yakita FR2 system features this fully automatic SLR camera with electromagnetic shutter. It's incredibly easy to operate from Yashika, the newest generation of electronic photography. And for entertainment away from home, it's luggage on floor by Airway. Everything you've always wanted in casual luggage. Beautiful, lightweight, durable, plus add a wheel for the ease of roll-along luggage. And finally, Jim, load your camera and pack your bags because you'll have lots of entertainment on your trip to fabulous Florida. We're flying you to Orlando, the vacationer's paradise and year-round resort. With its beautiful beaches and ideal climate, you'll have accommodations at the Holiday Inn Kissimmee, Florida, located near such major attractions as Walt Disney World theme park, SeaWorld, Kennedy Space Center, and Gatorland. All near the Holiday Inn Kissimmee. And Jim, this entertainment package is worth, in cash and prizes, over $3,750. Anybody with you in the audience? Oh, yeah, I got a whole bunch of them out there. All right, we'll meet them right after we uh, take care of this first number. Let's move everything on the board all around, cover them up. Remember, you're looking for $1,000 or more. Get the tick and the tack, you automatically get the dough. What do you like the looks of? One, two, three, four, et cetera. Number five. Number five? five. He's going to start with number five, and here's that number, and let's look behind it. What do we got behind five? Five. $500 for number five. Every call should be that good. Okay, Jim, let's take just a second here. Who are all these crazy people out here? That's my crazy family out there. <laughs> all of these people belong to you? Well, they're not, yeah. <laughs> Is that your wife and white? That's my wife and white. Who are the rest of the people? Are they kids? Uh, the, the big one to her left is my son, John, and the one to her right is my son, Michael, and a couple of her sisters and their families are out Sorry, there. Jim, we're out of time now. <laughs> what number would you like him to take next? Uh, my wife says number one. Number one. All right. Number one. Got $500. Let's see if we can add to that right now. Number one is good for $150. You got $650. Let's go back out there. You want to stop knowing the next call could be the dragon, or do you want to continue? I'm going to go. All right. What do you like? I'm not going to pay any attention to them. I'm going to take the one my wife gave. It's mine. 
Which one? Nine. Number nine. All right, nine. You got six fifty. Let's see if you can come on with a big win. Here it comes. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Six fifty. Two fifty. And let's go back out here. You gonna use him this time, or you gonna leave it up to yourself? I'm gonna stop. You're gonna quit. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. He's gonna stop. Mama, he's gonna quit. He said you got some money and you're gonna keep it. Not gonna take any chance of that dragon showing no, up. Right? Sir. No, sir. No. You know that's a nice tidy sum. All you need is a hundred dollars. I can't talk you back into it. No, nope, I've seen it go too many times. Uh, when you got you know, dollars. smart man. Listen, he's watched this show. All right, let's. What number would you have called out? I would have taken three. I think. All right, you've stopped. Let's look behind all the numbers and let's just keep a good close eye on number three. You've got your nine hundred dollars. <laughs> there was the dragon. He's not smart. The man is brilliant. Brilliant man. Congratulations. You got cash and prizes now, totaling $2,200. Let's look at the rest of the board. Two, four, six, seven, and eight, just to see where the chicken and the jack were. There they were. Where I'd like to show you they are there. Okay, you ready to get started with another game? Yes, sir. Let's meet an opponent, champ. Get on over there. Okay, Jay Ford, who's next? Our next player works at California State University, Wink, where she is responsible for D-Bank. Meet Charlene Hill. Hi, Charlene. Hello, how Lovely are you? Lovely ladies. Tell us about your responsibilities with D-Bank. Well, I set up D-Bank practice rounds, and then I give time signals for constructive arguments and then for rebuttals. I see. You're talking about that kind of D-Bank. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I thought you were talking about D bait you use to catch D fish in the ocean. Oh. Now, I don't mind a little of that, but that's too much. I mean, that is really carrying a little too far. Let's get on with D game. Take that. Let's look at the subjects in this game. Charlene and Jim, we got marine biology on the board, we got bad guys, the Bible. Mixed drinks, Broadway shows, maps of states, good guys, funny men, and big and little. Okay, Jim, your turn. Well, I'll go to the upper right, the Bible. The Bible it shall be, and here is your question, Jim. According to St. Matthew, the wise men from the East gave the baby Jesus three gifts, gold and frankincense. For two of them, I want you to name the third. Myrrh. Right, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And that goes in that position. Let's move the categories around. <laughs> 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 Charlie, this will be your first shot at our board. What would you like? Good guys, let's hope it's good for me. Right in the center. All right, for $300, Teddy Roosevelt became a national hero after leading a charge up San Juan Hill during this war. First, I want you to name the war, Charlene, and then tell me in which country was San Juan Hill. Think about that. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat the question because you're already nodding your head up and down. Name uh -huh. the war. Spanish-American War. Right. In which country was San Juan Hill? Cuba. Right. <laughs> you got the center box in a hurry. Put an O there. Shuffle those categories, Mr. Computer, <laughs> if you will, please. $500 for pot, Jim. She's not fooling around, is she? Mm-mm. Well, I think I'll go with mixed drinks in the lower left. Okay, mixed drinks. Notice he selected that with a great deal of authority. <laughs> An alcoholic beverage whose name means little water is made from either wheat or rye or maize or potatoes and is the national drink of a European country. Name this spirit. Vodka? Right. The country is Russia. Vodka. An extra is there. Let's move the categories again. $700 in the pot. Charlene, he's not fooling around, is he? Let's go with Broadway shows. Broadway shows. First time in the category. Here's the question. This hit 1960 musical, later made into a movie starring Paul Lynn, featured the songs We Love You, Conrad, and Put On a Happy Face. It told the story of a rock and roll idol and his adoring fans. Name it. Bye Bye Birdie. You got it. Bye Bye Birdie. Put it over there. $200 for pot. We'll take a break and be right back. Please don't go away. Game's going. I'm not sure anybody's going to miss a question. This is either going to end in a tie or somebody's going to goof up in their strategy. This is a good game. Let's move the categories around $900 in the pot. Jim, your turn. Upper middle, funny men to block. Funny men for a block. Question, Jim, on television and on radio, this comedian used Love and Bloom as his theme song and featured regulars Mary Livingston and Dennis Day. Name him. Jack Benny. Right. Very good. Good for a block. Let's move the categories around. $1,100 in the pot. Charlene, he blocked you that time. What do you like this time? Go for big and little. Why? 
Because I got a blocking. All right. <laughs> Charlene, actor Michael Landon portrayed the youngest son of the Cartwright family in the popular television series Bonanza. For a block, name this character. Little Joe. Yes, Little Joe Cartwright for a block. So we put it over there. Now on the board, Jim, we have three boxes remaining. As we shuffle, let's see what subjects come up for you to select from. With $1,300 in the pot, your turn. Well, I'll have to go to the bottom right. Good guys to block. You're going for a block. She blocked you. Now you're going to try to block her. Good guys. Jim, see if you can pull it off. Though badly outnumbered, this future American president proved his heroism by successfully defending New Orleans from the British during the War of 1812. For a block, name him. Andrew Jackson. Yes, for a block. Andrew Jackson. Very good. And that goes there. Now, Charlene, we turn to you. We have $1,500 in the pot, and look, we have two boxes remaining. Let's see what subjects show up as we shuffle. Here they come, and there they are. Good guys and mixed drinks, Charlene. Mixed drinks for the block, or I'll need one. All right. <laughs> Can't serve you here, though, dear. Mixed drinks for a block. Vermouth and bitters are two of the main ingredients of a Manhattan. For a block, name the third. Bourbon. Is that acceptable? The answer is whiskey. Whiskey. So, we have to move the categories around. Still $1,500 in the pot. We shuffle and go back to Jim. Bad guys and big and little. Jim? Well, I'll go for big and little for the win. If you answer this question on big and little, you'll have a win worth $1,700 added to your prior winnings. Your total would then be $3,900. Jim? This popular comic strip featured the adventures of a little girl and her two friends named Tubby and Iggy. For tic-tac-toe and $3,900, name this comic strip girl. Little iodine's the only thing that occurs to me. No, little Lulu. I'll be done. Little Lulu. <laughs> Lulu. Charlene, Lulu saved you. Let's look at the board now. Two boxes remaining. As we shuffle, take a look. See if you like these categories. $1,500 in the pot. Mixed drinks, maps of states. Charlene. Maps States for the block, I hope. All I right, again for a block, maps of states. Take a look at this map of the United States, Charlene. The Custer Battlefield Monument is located in this state, which has Helena as its capital. For a block, name that state. Montana. Right, Helena, Montana. So we put it over there. Seventeen hundred dollars in the pot. Okay, Jim, of course, you're going to be going for a tie game. Let's see what subject's going to be coming up in that final box in this game. It is Big and Little. <laughs> Would you like Big and Little, Jim? I didn't like it last time. <laughs> <laughs> see what you think this time. See if your attitude changes over that category. We're going for a tie game. Legends have grown in the Pacific Northwest about an 8-foot, 500-pound creature. What is the more common name for the beast they call Sasquatch for Big a tie? Foot. Bigfoot. Right. Tie game. That's it. So there it is. The board's all filled to capacity. Every single box taken. Nobody won. We have a tie, which means we'll start a brand new game with nine new categories in the pot at $1,900. And with every correct answer, of course, we'll keep adding to that pot. Here are the subjects. Take a look. Bearded men, Arab world, nicknames, television roles, spelling, faces, Israel, rivers, and chemistry. Here we go with the second game between Jim and Charlene. Jim, select, please. I'll go up or left, bearded men. Bearded men, $1,900 in the pot as we start. This popular musician is noted for his beard, smooth-shaven head, and dark glasses. In 1972, he became a star with the award-winning score from the movie Shaft. Name him, Jim. Isaac Hayes. Yes, that is right. Let's go there. Let's move the categories around. I have $200 for the pot. Charlene, we're up to $2,100 on this game. Let's go to the middle with Israel. All right, for $300 for the pot, a little harder. Israel has had six prime ministers since its independence in 1948. Menachem Begin and Yitzhak Rabin are two of them. Name two of the remaining four. Here's your extra time, Charlene. <laughs> Israel's had six prime ministers since its independence in 1948. Menachem Begin and Yitzhak Rabin are two of them. I want you to name two of the remaining four, Charlene, for that center box. David Ben-Gurion. That's right. And Golda Meir. You are right. Very good. So we put an O there and add $300 to the pot, and we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Super 
decade. Before we say goodbye, I want to mention that we should have accepted your answer a while ago, which was bourbon, because bourbon would be a form of whiskey. But since you tied the game, it didn't affect the outcome anyway, so everything's cool. All right? Mm -hmm. You fine. speaking to me? Yes, You're still I talking am. to yes. the winker? Oh, absolutely. All right. By the way, this being our fifth show of the week, I have my little hat to put on, and I think I probably have uh, come up with a winner this time. Belongs to the Cavaliers of what high school? Santiago. What? Santiago. 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 I got it right. Do you like me this way? Do you like me like this? Thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. All of our defining contestants will receive the home game version of the new Tic Tac Toe, which is much fun playing it as watching it on TV. In addition, some of our defining contestants will receive green parquet from Kraft. It's a convenient way to spread that delicious creamy parquet flavor on any food you serve. And new Formula Bora team. This modern brightening system gets colors brighter and cleaner than the leading all-fabric bleach and it removes stains better, too. Plus, the great new finishing team, zip strip paint, varnish, and stain remover, and zip guard clear urethane wood finish for that professional look. And Pledge, the furniture and polish that picks up fingerprints and fudges and gives your furniture a clean, natural beauty every time you dust. Plus, Mist Sense, pocket size air refresher for your car, home, or office. Two from six plus and miss sense fragrances. Bob Barker is bringing you a full hour of The Price is Right. No coupons necessary. Then stay tuned for the best moments from the best games. GSN Game World is at 7 p.m. only on Game Show Network.